What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas. Let's talk about Network Attached Storage or NAS. Now because NAS drives can be used for so many different things, I want this review to have a bit more focus on the creative professional. Well, I reached out to Synology and they were kind enough to send me the four bay eight gigabyte variant of the DS916 Plus with three two terabyte Seagate NAS drives. I in turn purchased a fourth two terabyte Seagate NAS drive and the Synology DX513 expansion unit and put five three terabyte Seagate drives in that expansion unit. A full list of specifications can be found in the description of this video. The DS916 Plus offers a plethora of cool and useful things to help you with protecting your workflow, as well as making your workflow accessible to you and others outside of your home or studio. Essentially, Synology opens up your ability to work on the move. Now you can have your own cloud storage without having to pay an exorbitant amount of changing subscription fees to cloud service providers like Dropbox, Google Drive, and iCloud. If you're a creative professional, you know that Dropbox and Google Drive have increased their subscription fees based on how much cloud storage you need. With Synology, that is no longer an issue, and now your decision becomes uh, what type of hard drive should you invest in or upgrade to. All Synology NAS drives run using Disk Station Manager. In a nutshell, Disk Station Manager or DSM is a full-fledged web-based operating system that is designed to help users manage important things to them. Things like documents, photos, music, videos, project and source files, and all other important forms of digital assets. When you talk about DSM, it becomes more than just storing data because DSM offers a various range of first-party applications and services as well as third-party application sources. It's all built into the package center, which is essentially the same thing as the app store for DSM. These tools help bring more entertainment to the user's home, a higher level of productivity, in their work and also helps you manage things like uh, closed circuit television type stuff. It's a really an open based platform that uh, has all kinds of tools for anybody that wants to customize their Synology NAS drive. Now that you have a little bit of background on what Synology is and what it can do and how it runs, I want to talk to you about how I use the DS916 Plus in my home and how I use it to improve my workflow. First, I use it to protect my important project files. I've always backed up my source files on projects I've shot. I've had many projects go horribly wrong, but because I've had a proper backup, I was fine and able to continue my work. Client work is something that must be protected because reshooting lost footage or photos is often impossible. Backing up project files and work is imperative in my workflow. It's not a question of if, but when will you lose data to problems. With the DS916 Plus, I'm able to set up time machine backups easily that continually run in the background while I work. And because of the speed and performance of the DS916 Plus, backups complete rather quickly. Now I've had experience with other NAS drives that don't back up so quickly and also consume a lot of CPU resources and it slows down my workflow. Speaking of speed and performance, I had a couple of burning questions when I was considering Synology for myself. My testing in this video is completely based on my LAN or or local area network capacities and capabilities, and your results will vary based on your router that you have connected to the system. And also, uh, another fact is that I have the expansion unit connected in this testing setup as well. My home network setup has the DS916 Plus with the DX513 expansion unit connected to the newest Apple Airport Extreme, utilizing both of the gigabit ethernet ports. The first test that I ran was Blackmagic Dispy test, and the results were a 20 megabyte write and a 10 megabyte read, which is mediocre at best, especially considering the types of drives that you can get through Thunderbolt and all that type of stuff. But the real power with Synology is not in the actual read and write performance per se. The next thing that I wanted to see was transfer speeds over my local area network or LAN. So I transferred a one gigabyte DMG to the Synology DS916 Plus paired with the DX513. And the first run came in at around 52 seconds. The second run was a little faster coming in at 43 seconds. And the download time for the first run was uh, around 64 four seconds and the second time was around 59 seconds. There's a bit of a performance improvement over the iterations of uploads and downloads, but I haven't seen it get any better than around 40 seconds for a gigabyte of data being transferred from my local machine to the Synology setup that I have in this video. 
One thing that I really wanted to check is if the DS916 Plus would live up to an editor's demands in the sense of housing source files or work files. To test this, I put some ProRes LT files on the Synology itself and dragged those into an Adobe Premiere project and then in turn used those working files in a sequence. And to my surprise, it ran flawlessly. And I can only attribute this to the CPU because it is an Intel Pentium N3. 3710 with a 64 bit architecture. It's a quad core 1.6 gigahertz and has turbo boosting up to 2.56 gigahertz. So, this NAS is more than capable of housing your working files and allowing you to work off of them, especially with uncompressed file formats. Now, I didn't test this with compressed file formats, so the actual files that come off of your camera directly, but with Adobe's new ingest process where it allows you to work with proxies, I have no doubt in my mind that you can house all of your working files on the DS916 Plus and work off them no problem. Now that we have testing out of the way, I wanna highlight some of the awesome things Synology has done for me. Just know that these things are by no means a comprehensive or complete list because management of your Synology device can be completely customized and set up in a ton of different ways, just all based on your needs. File syncing has been a breeze across all of my machines and smartphones. Synology offers uh, cloud station syncing, which is an application that can be downloaded and it seamlessly syncs and shares files among Mac, Windows, and even Linux machines. In addition to supporting both iOS and Android devices, Pair that with uh, Synology's Cloud Sync. You also can seamlessly sync, share, and backup files among your Dropbox, Amazon Cloud, Drive, Google Drive, iCloud, all that type of stuff. So you can literally centralize all of your different systems into one single thing. And when you make changes, it gets pushed out to all of your devices. No need to worry about version management or anything like that anymore. And when it comes to sharing uh, files or large files with a team and or clients, it can sometimes be a hassle. But Synology's File Station, which is a handy file explorer within DSM, you can organize and share files stored on your NAS and share them with coworkers or customers using links, QR codes, or even an email, all of which are password protected if you want them to be. And this, this feature is not only limited to people that have Synology NAS uh, uh, devices either. Your your people don't even have to have Synology or even know what it is. Another thing that I found really awesome is the ability to scale the size of your NAS. Pairing the DS916 Plus with the DX513 expansion unit literally opens the doors for an actual ability to go up to 90 terabytes of storage. That's huge. And being able to go up to that amount of storage is just mind boggling. If you're an advanced user, Synology got you covered in DSM. If you're a, a basic user, they have a whole bunch of help documentation to get you set up and going. And Synology's even developed a, a certain RAID system in which your data is written efficiently across all your drives and is protected against drive failure. Now, one thing that really caught my eye is that even if you're writing to this proprietary designed RAID by Synology, you are able to recover your data even if you move away from Synology. Uh, some other NAS providers uh, out there do not allow you to recover your data if the actual housing unit is destroyed or anything like that. That means that your data is recoverable and being uh, is able to be moved across to a different platform. So you can move away from Synology even if you use their proprietary RAID setup. And that's huge for me. That means Synology really has their customers in mind. One final thing that I found extremely handy uh, using the DS916 Plus paired with the DX513 expansion unit is the power management options and ability to schedule on and off times. For me, I do not need my NAS running during certain times of the night, so DSM allows me to schedule uh, some tasks to power on and off the system, saving energy and extending the life of my hard drives because they're not being powered during times they're not being used. Another really cool thing DSM tracks is if there is an uninterruptible power supply connected to the NAS. If your UPS is capable of USB connection, DSM will report it as if it's connected to your NAS. This was huge for me as it adds another element of protection to my 
data. Synology is really thought of pretty much anything a self-managed business or service provider may need of their NAS. This video only showcased a small segment of how the DS916 Plus can be used. I'm here to tell you Synology NAS systems are one of the most, if not the most, adaptable and customizable NAS solutions on the market. If you're interested in seeing how the Synology fits into a smart home setup where it acts as a central hub for all your movies, photos, and music, Geeky Nerd Dad has you covered. So when you're done checking out Tomas's video, come by my channel, check out my video. I'll give you guys my take on the DS916 Plus. Big shout out to Tomas for letting me up on his video and I'll see you guys over on my channel. Before I close, I must disclose Synology partially sponsored this video by providing the DS916 Plus and three two terabyte hard drives, but I purchased the DX513 and the drives needed to fill the remaining bays and to complete the system with my own money. However, without Synology, this video would not have been possible, so a huge thanks to them. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If not, hit the other one. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas, and I'll catch you in the next one.